It's Friday night in Rio, and Gabriela Laite is starting her rounds, meeting friends, catching up, and handing out hundreds of condoms to the prostitutes around Tirandentes Square, one of the city's red light districts. Wherever she goes, there are lively conversations about sex, men, and rights. We have made a lot of progress in having our rights recognized. We can now get into a fight with the guys and say, I'm not doing it. Once a prostitute herself, Gabriela Laite formed her advocacy group, Davida, more than 20 years ago. She's lost friends to AIDS, often infected, she says, by the men who pay them for sex. But the women getting ready tonight are on the front line of Brazil's campaign against the disease. I tell them, no, I'm not going to do it without a condom. And they say, I'll go find someone else. Some men, all they think about is themselves, not how they can harm so many people. Prostitution is legal in Brazil, and hundreds of women work the streets and clubs around Copacabana Beach. While the overall number of HIV-positive people is falling here, it's rising among women. Valkyria is a prostitute who also works with Laite's group. She came here from the northeast at the age of 14. There are some poor girls who are desperate for money, and sometimes clients will give them more to have sex without a condom, but it's rare. Prostitutes are part of a national dialogue about AIDS in Brazil. The government listens to Gabriela Laite's group. It has a high-profile program to distribute 250 million condoms a year and a free national initiative to supply antiretroviral drugs to people with HIV. And that's probably kept Genoloi alive. She's HIV positive and a volunteer with Gabriela Leite. She says she was infected by her husband and only found out he had AIDS as he lay dying. Genoloi still works as a prostitute. Only now, she says, I protect my clients by insisting they wear a condom. General Lloyd's also launched a new career as a model for Das Bu, the group's very suggestive clothing line. It's been a big success in Brazil. The income helps Davida launch new initiatives and provides some of the prostitutes with income. Laite says it helps that Brazilians face sexuality without taboos. This T-shirt has every word used in Brazil for prostitute. But she's frustrated by the influence of the church here, its opposition to prostitution and the use of condoms. The Catholic Church has always meddled with the sexuality of human beings. It's crazy. And it's not just the church. You have the U.S. policy saying, how do you prevent AIDS? Abstinence. Next Friday, Leite won't be patrolling Tirandenti Square, but making the case in Mexico City for the world's prostitutes. People think we are the problem, the ones who spread HIV. But we are part of the solution, because we know so much about sexuality and about men. Timulus to CNN, Atlanta.